Right, so this one, I'm not quite sure how this is going to go with recording this, but we're in the rain, we're in the log transporter, and uh, yeah, we're going to go through Finland. God, I love the effects of lights bouncing off the spectators in this game. It's one of the probably one of the coolest things. God, I got it tipped out when I first drove the log transporter. I think I did exactly that, but in the dry. So I must have got better because <laughs> I only messed it up as badly and in a harder weather condition. Nayum. Oh shit. Logging is hard. I actually don't think I've ever listened to the whole of the Art of Rally soundtrack. Like, I, I think I played through it the first time with music, but I think... I think I only got to, like, Group B before I started listening to my own music again. This is Finland. There is no New Zealand in the game, they did just add Australia. It's going to be a while before you see me play Australia. Because it's not going to come up in the dailies and I, my current thing is to work through every single track in the game. All 1920 of them. Ah, oh, bottom 65% really? Ah oh, well. Next. I think I'll pause it if I'm going to wait. No, that's not a finished ballad, it's a start ballad. The finished ballad will be the end of the track. Actually, Duck, since you're here and you're actually probably going to be watching, how bad is the controller flicking to the top of the bloody thing? Like, I only just noticed it and I've realised that's probably why I keep failing front flips or accidentally getting into a front flip when I'm playing 8 Degrees of Freedom games. games where up and down actually matters rather than racing games Rip someone. No, no, they technically always get out of the way. <laughs> Even if it looks like they uh, have to get hit before they teleport out of the way. Quite a lot of the time. It does feel like they won't teleport through each other, ever. Like, the only thing they won't teleport through is each other. But they'll teleport somewhere else if they come into contact with your vehicle. But yeah, this is a game based on uh, the Group B days of Rally. If you haven't seen it, if you haven't, honestly, Doc, mate, get it. <laughs> highly, highly recommend it. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. Eighth! I 
Dobar. Don't do this. Don't do what I'm doing. This is stupid. Play through the game. Maybe speedrun some of it. Join us for some competitions. That sort of thing. Um, do not fucking... Yeah, I don't recommend anybody. Well, I don't know. If you enjoy the game a lot and you're not quite sure what to do next, try completing every stage. Someone's done it. One person. Only one, because there's a lot of stages with only one person. But if you ever find a stage with only one person, you'll find Schnellfaren. And, uh, yeah. It is to be believed that Schnellfaren is the only person who's completed them all. I aim to be second. Yeah, well the thing is, so every track in the game for the main classes that are in the campaign will have completions. But this is like logging truck, tri-wheelers, the things nobody ever races, in the rain, on backwards, because a lot of people don't play backwards tracks for some reason. I understand rain, don't quite understand backwards. Because realistically, you could call either one forwards and it wouldn't make a difference. But yeah, I mean, there's 1,920 tracks to complete. Yeah. That's the thing. Well, there's 192 tracks, but 10, um, 10 classes, so 1,920 leaderboards. And there's only actually 48 tracks, because it's 48 tracks, which is 6 tracks per uh, leaderboard. Six, 6 tracks per country, times 2 is 12 to get you into... Uh, to do it in rain and dry and then times two again is 24 for reverse so there's about eight countries times six unique actual unique tracks there's only 48 and that includes the dlc there's only seven it's more than 160 hours i think i had it down as 60 hours for some reason I had it down as two minutes for each run, which uh, is is optimistic even in Group A, is two minute run averages. Yeah, 1,920. I worked out it's 32 minutes bang on if I was to take a picture at the end uh, of every single leaderboard and upload a video of it where each picture lasted one second. It's going to take a lot of time. It's at By the time I finish it, I'm at least going to have doubled my time played in the game. If not tripled. Well, I'm on 1,000... Uh, 100... Not 1,000, Jesus Christ. 125 hours when I started. The biggest thing for me is because I want to record it all... Um, it's more difficult. It's more difficult because I want to record it all. Because I could totally just sit here absent mindedly uh, driving through the stages. But from what I can tell, there's no real way to see that you've completed everything without manually going through each one. And like I just said, 32 minutes if each one takes a second. 
So checking them all, it's going to be difficult. And there is absolutely no way in hell that I am going to be... Uh, that I'm going to be trying to do top 10 on every track or something daft like that. I do think it would be cool if they implemented like an average finish or a complete fastest time across certain sections but it'd be difficult to implement you because there's so many options like do you want to compare group a in finland in the wet and all including reverse maybe you want to do group a in finland on all tracks but only in the dry so uh, oh no, sorry, all forward tracks, wet and dry. Maybe you want to do only in the dry, maybe you want to do only in the wet. Maybe you want to do only forwards in the dry, only forwards in the wet, and you want to do it across every car class. There's a million permutations of how that would work. And as far as I'm aware, considering you can't even look up, a, you can't just scroll through the uh, API. You can only get your position and the people around you and the world record it's uh yeah it's an interesting one But yeah, I was going to record each one individually. I'm now recording each one as a package of... It's going to be of a package of 12, but I might start doing them in sixes after. But uh, yeah, I hit the daily upload limit on YouTube yesterday. <laughs> Oopsie. Which is apparently 10 videos until your account is verified. You can verify by sending a picture of your face, but I don't fancy doing that. Or you just wait it out. And I'm not doing it on my main channel. Yeah, there's a limit if your account's not... So the account I've got is really old. It's really old. It has videos from 2013. It's actually an accidentally made account for Google+. Plus. When Google Plus came out, I got forced to make a Google Plus brand account. Which meant they ended up with two YouTube channels... I've kept it for ages because I actually did used to use it by accident when I didn't know. I kept it around for ages because it was always good for dumping videos that I didn't want anyone to see. Because um, there's always been a way to find unlisted videos on channels. So it was kind of like a place I could dump stuff. And then it's now become my VOD channel. And for dumping stuff like Art of Rally dailies and stuff like that that I don't care about. It's basically... I recommend you don't subscribe to it because I will be uploading a lot and then nothing. But it keeps my other channel clear for things that I actually actually put effort into. Hey, fourth. Hey, we're over 100 kilometers driven in the log transporter. It is a brutal way to start this challenge as well. Starting with the log transporter. I was about to say the slowest car, but it's not the monkey is. But um, yeah, starting with the log transporter. The reason I've done that is because I want to also do all of the custom rally stuff. Once we get to... So these cars, the reason I'm doing time trial is because we can't do custom rally. Otherwise, I would be making a 12-stage custom rally for all the rain tracks in Finland. And then just doing it in one shot. But the custom rallies have only... There used to be 10 maximum tracks. Now they're 12. And it was always said, if we ever got 12 maximum tracks, we'd change the speedrun.com leaderboards to be... Oh, uh, uh, fuck. 
uh, to be 12 tracks. Yay, can't put links in comments. I don't understand how verifying your channel works with that, honestly. I suppose it's like if you do spam stuff, you then at least it's a bit more effort to be able to spam stuff again. I suppose that's it's, it's more deterrent than you can't do it, isn't it? And I suppose it's actually, yeah, it stops bots. It stops bots, doesn't it? But it doesn't stop people sharing dodgy links you're just more likely to get link banned and then you might actually care about it because it's probably your actual channel yeah I want to do all the custom rallies and I'm not sure if we're going to change them to 12 tracks so I decided screw it I don't want to wait to start because I will procrastinate for another year because I had this idea a year ago to start doing this uh, and I would be done by now if I'd started a year ago. Just plugging away a little bit. By a little bit. There is a chance that it takes me over a year as well though, to be fair. But I'm not too fussed, I'm just going to do it when I enjoy it. When I feel like playing this game. And even if I end up going, right, I'm not going to be recording them. If they ever do work out a way to watch YouTube while also playing the game. And the one thing I don't want to do, even though it would be the simplest thing, the simplest thing would just be to get my phone. <laughs> uh, turn my microphone off. Watch YouTube on my phone. Or my Switch or something like that. That would be the simplest way to be able to record this without audio from my computer would just be to not have any real audio except for the game. I don't want to do that. I've got three bloody screens. I shouldn't have to load my Switch up to watch YouTube. Like at the minute, it's quite entertaining because I've never driven. Um, never driven. Oh, fucking hell, look at that. Look at that movement on the. Uh, what's it? My controller. Might have to get a new controller. I'll try dusting this one out. I like it. It's good. It's comfortable. But it was cheap. But everything's got uh, stick drift, hasn't it? So it's, n it's one of those like I could, but everything's got stick drift, and I've got an itchy nose. Oh god! Oh dear! Yeah, it's entertaining now because it's a novel idea to me. I've only just started. And it's something to do. The problem is, I'm I'm also going. I, I should figure out how to record it without while watching stuff in the background because that will make it so much easier. When I'm just thinking, oh, I want to play something, I can just play this. Like when I don't care what I want to play, I can just boot this up and just do. You know, even if it's only a couple rallies, two or three rallies something slowly but surely moving through the process the issue with recording is that if I was listening to um, watching YouTube and stuff like that it's gonna pick up whatever's in the background like I can't just capture 
Well, I can't. I've never been able to figure out a way to just capture game audio and only have game audio be captured. Come on, write yourself. Thank you. Pipe wire. Yes. Oh yeah, I've got that. I need to look into that properly. Because I'm, I'm, I tried to set it up, but I wasn't able to. There's a lot of things I need to look up properly. I might try and spend this weekend looking them up properly. I've got to get some more music because I got a copyright strike on one of my last videos. Even though it was all well, two, two of them were from copyright free places, uh, still claimed, and one of them. I can't find the song they claimed it was. It doesn't appear to exist when you Google it. And I found the song in my playlist that was it. Because I was stupid and didn't turn my bloody um, music thing on. Uh, the thing that tells you like underneath my picture. I usually have a thing that says what music I'm playing. At the minute I'm just playing Art of Rally so I can't get that information. But when I'm using VLC like normal works for you then that is good yeah I'll have a look into that because that would be blooming useful for a lot of things actually <laughs> blooming useful for a lot of things is there any command I can run to tell if I'm running pipe wire right now I know I've got pipe wire we can continue if conversations seem missed, by the way, if you're watching this on the YouTube side of things, that's because I keep pausing. Ah, VK Capture. I have seen that, yes. The thing it mainly is that there's a lot of things it's like, I oh, install this plugin for OBS to make it work. Uh, Linux browser is actually the exact same thing. Um, I have to have the old outdated plugin installed to do the Linux browser because I'm on Arch and because they for some reason don't let you do it and even with a and I couldn't for some reason that there's a couple of packages that just don't seem to install properly for me I don't know if I need to try it But um, I don't even know if I need to try again now that we're out with the version 30 of OBS. Once they come out, you know. But these side packages that have Linux browser installed. Yeah. Install Manual install is fine. I can install stuff manually or it's on the AUR. <laughs> Installing, I prefer to install plugins manually in OBS anyway, because it means that I can then actually know where the hell the config file's gone and saved to. The problem with having them installed non-manually is sometimes you don't actually know which of the OBS, like eight OBS config folders that exist, because there's a few of them, uh, it's managed to install to. And then when you go, ah, oh, I want to take this config folder and back it up so that I've got a backup of all my configs all your plugin stuff dies <laughs> or if I want to take it to my laptop because I'm like going somewhere or I'm going to be streaming from my dad's for a bit and I need my laptop People still haven't solved the problem of having multiple computers, honestly. I know everybody says I'll just use Nix configs, but that's like, ugh. And dot .files don't work when you also need the pictures, because I did do dot .files. You ever seen collection broken? I can help you now. I can help you with uh, with that. Because I had this Art of Rally scene was broken and I now know how to fix my old Art of Rally scene. 
I managed to delete the old Art of Rally scene and make a new one, but I now know which one it was. I actually should probably go through and delete the old one because I still have what well, it was it, one of my um, gamepad captures for the controller. Don't know what's broken on it, but it's broken. If I add it to this scene, it'll crash OBS immediately. Fortunately, crash without saving. Um, because if it crashed with saving, I'd be screwed. Not all sources were cleared. Eh, never heard of that. But if it works, then it's fine. <laughs> Just produces an error. Because mine was actually literally hard crashing OBS every time I went onto Art of Rally. And I didn't notice it for ages because I haven't played for a while. And then I was like, I want to play this because the new Australia DLC is coming out. As soon as I go to test it, it's like, uh, shit. Oh, it does hard crash. Hmm. So you can remove a scene. Well, you can go into the scene, so you can just remove the scene, to be fair. That's probably your best bet, is to remove it. Mine was crashing when I opened the scene. Um, and the problem with that was that I couldn't delete the scene because you have to open a scene to delete it. Like when you right click on a scene, it opens it as well. So it was immediately crashing. So I was unable to delete that scene. I had to open the file in text in a text editor. Oh, it's the whole scene collection. Hmm. That's interesting. So it, so it happens when switching collections. What you could try doing is exporting the collection data. Because I do know that sometimes um hey fifth that's not bad i'm not gonna look at the percentages <laughs> yes there are less than oh no there's more than 10 people next uh right yeah, some, sometimes I do know that there's different information that's stored versus exported. Like the export is a kind of manual process where it goes through and gets everything and exports it. So it can sometimes clean up dead links that aren't available anymore. I probably need to do it with this scene collection, to be fair. Because it will get rid of the old Art of Rally thing that's got a load of stuff. So it doesn't just copy the file as far as I'm aware. It's actually a thing. Uh. Oops. Two blog posts and uh, none of it solved it. The me I thought you were going to say and there were no answers. <laughs> That's usually what it is. It's that XKCD comic. I'm having this exact problem. Yeah, forum blog post, blog post. They're about the same thing these days, honestly. That's true. Most people don't post a blog without a solution. I do. <laughs> Actually, I just don't post any blogs anymore. Yeah, I'm have, I had the the same sort of thing as that XKD CD thing where it's like from 10 years ago because I bought a 10-year-old fork 
uh, for my bike, the front thing that your front wheel goes into, suspension fork, and uh, it don't work. It's supposed to do suspensioning, but you cycle it a few times, like up and down, and all of a sudden it just locks. And it goes into uh, what I can only describe as probably an oil lock, but then it'll solve itself after a and then it'll come back after only a couple of cycles and it's like really annoying. But yeah, I can't find any information that actually solves it. I've found people with the exact same issue. I've found people with similar issues that have solutions that either I don't want to do because they're very intrusive um, and I've kind of left it too long now I need to look at see if it's just fixed itself because it has been sat for about three months now I've just been riding other bikes unfortunate enough to be able to go that one don't work I'll ride this one and to be fair I just haven't wanted to ride that bike like the bike's really good and I would totally ride the bike but earlier this year like at the start of this year well for one through the whole of spring and summer um, all the riding I've wanted to do has been cross-country racing type riding like distance and endurance and stuff and the bike that's broke that the suspension's broken on is my like stunt bike basically for riding mountain bike trails and stuff like that um, and at the start of the year I bought well built from scrap parts that I had lying around in the shed and some crap that my uncle donated to me uh, I built an old 90s style well it is a 90s bike it's a 1991 frame with a load of random parts on it uh, built it up as a cross country bike so I was like yeah great been riding that been riding my other cross country bike, my cross country road style bike. Loving it. Never really wanted to ride my dirt jump bike. Just one of those. Didn't have that want. Alright, see you later, Doc. Through the field of logs with all my logging friends in them. This section reminds me very heavily of Wales in Dirt Rally 4. Oh, sorry, Dirt 4 and Dirt Rally 4. Dirt Rally 2. Not Dirt Rally 4. For God's sake. I'm not very smart. EA Sports WRC, which I think is a terrible name. They should have called it Dirt WRC and just continued the Dirt brand. Most people are going to put them into the same... Uh, the same category of games because they're quite clearly similar to Dirt Rally. Drifted. Oof. <laughs> Love crashing at the end. We're nearly done with the logging truck in Finland. <laughs> I 
I think this is probably my favourite finish stage. I do enjoy the longer stages. But I also enjoy tarmac a lot. I like the the climbs and the falls and like the big sweeping turns. Uh, am I seriously not off the road there? Valid parking pace apparently. Can't park that there. Right now, because I'm just like not grinding for these and I'm just playing whatever, this just feels like playing Euro Truck Simulator, but with everything turned off. Like I used to, well, I would still do if I played Euro Truck Sim, but when I play Euro Truck Sim, I turn the police and everything off and like getting busted for doing this over the speed limit. I just go rag myself around. I've not played much Euro Truck Sim to be fair either. I also have no intention in that game of ever buying my own truck. Because it's just so much more fun to jump in for me the way I want to play it. It's just to jump in, pick up a, a mission and just go. And I say, like, oh, you did really badly and you lost money. Oh well, you, you need to restart. Okay. I'm pretty sure you can't lose money doing uh, other people's drives. I'm pretty sure driving for other people pretty much unless you actually purposefully mess it up. Like it's always the backup source if you've bought your truck and you can't do your own trucking. Driving for other trucks is, uh, is your backup source if your truck's broke. You drive a couple of those you get the money for repairs and that. But yeah, because I'm just dropping through each one. Glory. Not powerful enough brakes on the logging truck. One day I'll learn how to properly clutch kick. Uh, never mind. bottom 75 percent <laughs> but yeah there's 12 people we're into the really you know if you go to you have to go tops you know if you go deeper there's just nobody but 
Here we go. The 25th event in the logging truck because I have done one other. No grip while you're in the air. First time I've ever actually used fourth gear in the logging truck. I assume we'll get harder in uh, or higher in um, like Germany and stuff like that. Probably also in Sardinia. There's a few places you can. And I'm more familiar with the vehicle now. To be fair, having played through all of Finland, I probably have more experience in the logging truck than 99.9% .9 of Art of Rally players ever. <laughs> Custom rallies in the logging troll would be mint. I know we just got 12, 12 stage rallies, but you know. Custom rallies in the logging truck. <whistles> and all the other bonus fans and stuff, fans and that car and that. Because, I mean, imagine Art of Endurance in this. And to be fair, I assume one of the biggest things is that this doesn't have any damage available to it. I bet that this doesn't actually have programmed damage or anything like that. That's probably... Because otherwise you'd think it's Probably a very easy thing to add. Just having a meeting with me buds there. Tell them how the race is going. Shit, I just couldn't get that round. I wasn't massively paying attention. I will be honest.
Oh, cross the line, cross the line. Yes! I was like, it's getting squirrely. I could probably save it, but I'll be faced with the wrong way. And just, just send it off the side. Right, that's it. That's uh, Finland done.